everyone, welcome back to WAC. Uh, it's been a little bit since though. We took a little bit of a hiatus um, post Hammerfest. Yep. Um, Hammerfest, by the way, was a blast. First uh, ever 5 0. Yes, it was my first ever 5 0. Came back, came in second. Yeah. Um, so, of course. I did not do as well. You did pretty good. You, your games were close. Okay, you were, there's no winning against Trogs on, um, oh, what's that battle plan? Where there's three in the middle. Three in the middle. Yeah, they stood yeah. on them a lot better than I could stand. Good cities can stand on them. Yep. Yeah. It's, 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 it's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But your your game against uh, your other loss, because he went 3 2. Mm -hmm. Your other lost, lo loss was in round five against Slaves of Darkness, mm -hmm. right? Yep. To, um, what's his name? The Binder Master? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, um, uh, drawing blanks right now. Yep. That's great. Chris Creech. Yes, yes, Chris Creech. Yeah. The Binder Master. Yep, I lost him in round five. I really wish, no, no offense to Chris if you ever watch this, that you would have beaten him because he has done a conversion where he has taken Teclas and okay. strung it up on one of their banners. It's so upsetting as a Luminous <laughs> player. <laughs> but it, it's actually, it looks really cool. It does upset me as a Luminous player though. Um, but yeah, it was a blast. Um, really enjoying 4.0, how about you? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I've had cities on my mind for the last like month and a half. Um, so today I'm not playing cities. I'm trying yeah. to branch out a little bit, so yeah. hopefully I'm okay. It's going to be hard to switch armies. Yeah, um, you're playing in a, a bit of a different army today. Yep. I'll be yeah. playing Seraphon. Seraphon, yeah. It looks super fun, though. Like I'm excited to play against them, and um, I'm going to be pulling out to the uh, Sylvaneth again. Um, excited to try out their new changes. Um, I think they definitely had a good glow up, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, since we're kind of talking about it, uh, we'll go ahead and jump in and take a look at the armies in the battle map. But before we do, I would like to remind y'all to um, hopefully stick with us to the end of the video where we'll discuss how we thought the match went, any changes we might make to our lists, and um, things like that. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff, and let's go ahead and take a look at the battle plan. And the armies. And the armies. All right, Seraphon. I am 2,000 points exactly in a true drop. I am playing Sunclaw Starhost, and this is a very mixed arms. I don't know what I want to play with, and I'm bringing as many different units as possible. Um, starting with my first regiment, my general's regiment, is a Slan Star Master um, with a reinforced unit of Abaddon Lancers, a, a unit of Guard, and two units of Source Warriors. Now. I don't like the old guard models. So what I did was for my guard, I put those um, mallets or, or whatever they're called on them. And for my regular warriors, I put the spears. Um, and they're different colors. So obviously the blue ones are my guard and the orange and green are my regular warriors. Uh, and then for my second regiment, I did a skink starseer with a reinforced unit of croxcore a um, unit of chargers and a unit of the hunters of Hancha, hanchi with dark pipes um i actually was kind enough to lift the fully painted band we had going on um mm -hmm. because i'm not that fast of a painter so she let me play with unfinished models and that is my army oh did you want to talk i am taking um Spell lore, lore of celestial manipulation, and morbid for my endless spells. No priest in this army. For my Sylvaneth list today, I am bringing 2,000 points on the nose, going with a 3-drop. Um, my sub-faction is Outcasts. And uh, like Sinto, I decided to break away from the meta build and try out a couple of different units. So we've got a little bit of a mixture here. In my general's regiment, there's a cat. Mm. <laughs> She's not my general's regiment, but anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. I have the Spirit of Durthu, um, and he has Spell Singer and Seed of Rebirth on him. And with him, he brings a reinforced unit of Kurnoth Scythes. In my second unit, I have a Warsong Revenant. She brings with her a reinforced unit of Kurnoth Great Bows. 
And then in my third regiment, I have Belthanos, and he's bringing with him the Bug Brigade of Gossamid Archers and some Revenant Seekers. And then finally, for my Manifestation lore, I figured I'd go ahead and give the um, Sylvaneth Manifestations a try, the Manifestations of the Deepwood, as the lit this tree here, I am blanking on what this piece is, which the, what this manifestation is called, but um, it now basically acts as a mobile uh, wildwood, which is kind of neat. So we'll try it out. Um, and that is my Sylvaneth army. The battle plan that we are playing today is Border War. For scoring, you score one victory point if you control the objective wholly within friendly territory. Score two victory points for each objective on the border of friendly territory that you control. Score five victory points if you control the objective wholly within enemy territory. And then score four victory points if you completed the battle tactic you chose to attempt this turn. For the twist, victory points scored by each player from the controlling objectives are capped at a maximum of six per turn. And then you get to add one to hit rolls for units in the underdog's army if they charge this turn and are contesting the objective wholly within their enemy territory. As far as terrain layout, we use the suggested terrain map for Border War. Um, pieces of note, these, um, what are these, obelisks are obscuring. The fountains are places of power. And then you might notice, notice uh, notably, the uh, lovely Seraphon pyramid is missing. My bad. Uh, I forgot it at home. Yeah, so me and my Hopefully. trees are very happy he doesn't have that, so I will not be Yeah, taking... this is not the matchup you might have, I, might, I should have forgot uh, my train. Yeah, because I you'd be doing all the mortal damage to me for being around my trees. Yeah. Yeah. At least three units uh, would be... Yeah. Oh, right, if you hit this one right here, you'd be hitting Durthu, got, uh, what what's this chick's name? Uh, Warsong. Warsong, thank you. Both Kurnos and well, I, I, I get to pick three. Oh, only three. Okay. And if the if the terrain piece I pick has a health unit or health, I think it does D three automatically does D three. Yeah, this three. is not the matchup. I should oh, have forgot my terrain. That would be so good against Sylvana. Yeah. Oh this well. Is, sorry guys. <laughs> He's just gonna be playing a little bit har on oh, harder mode. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bear with us on this one. Mm -hmm. We're going on a bit of a tangent here, but bear with us because uh, we took a bit of break, so we're now rusty. And uh, we're also playing these armies without a whole yeah, lot of experience. Cities didn't have uh, terrain. I, 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 Iron Jaws and cities don't have terrain features, okay? Seraphine does. does. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's okay. It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll muster through. Okay. Um, as far as deployment goes, I, I mean, I, y'all can see we nothing super fancy to talk about. I just kind of clustered up here in the middle. I'm the three drop, so I'm assuming he's going to give me first turn, uh, but we'll see. I am not attempting to go for flanks because then they would just, whatever I sent to the flanks will get smashed. Um, I'm, so I pretty much just clustered up to go for the center. Um, yeah, one thing I think I forgot to go over with my army is my artifact power and my heroic trait. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna put. I don't know what to pick. So on my slan, I went ahead and put um, the familiar, which lets me add d6 to one of my castings once per game. Okay. And then um, the one where uh, being of the stars, ignore modifier uh, save rolls for this unit, positive or negative. So he always saves on a four up. Okay. I I really didn't know what to pick. I'm just trying to keep my slan alive. Um, also, I think before the um, battle starts, I have to pick a something. Asterism. Okay. And um, again, not sure what the best asterism is, but I'm gonna go with the one that gives me movement. Add two to the movement character of friendly Seraphon units. So my entire army is Seraphon, so my entire army will get plus two movement. For the whole game? Yep. Wow. And round three, I can pick a second asterism if I meet the requirements, which the requirements are uh, this one's called So Tech to Deliver. So the enemy general is in combat or has been destroyed. Okay, so Durthu. Mm -hmm. um, at the start of the third battle round. So if Durthu is in combat at the start or has been destroyed at the start of round three, I get to pick a second asterism. Gross. Okay. Hmm. And I don't have um, a Lariel in this list, so I'm... Oh, Honor Guard 2, we'll new rules of Honor Guard. Um, 
I guess I'll pick my cavalry and I'll do. Uh, I'm assuming most of your um, army is infantry. Yes. Well, kind of, uh, the current author infantry, um, and I believe the War Song Revenants infantry. Um, Dirth U and the Kurnoth Hunter, or the, what's his name? Belthanos, I believe, are monsters. And then these, I gotta check to see what the Gossamans are. They might be infantry. The Bug Riders are cavalry. Okay, I'll do anti infantry. Okay. Since they're already anti monster, um, that means I pretty much get a plus one ran on whatever I'm hit charging into. Okay. Um, yeah, I pretty much spread out. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what you're supposed to be doing either. This is the first time I've played against Seraphon in 4.0. I've played a lot of 4.0, but not against Seraphon. Nobody seems to be playing it in, in our region, in our yeah. area at least. Yeah. Uh, which is sad because I love Seraphon. Yeah, I do too. I love dinosaurs. Yeah, it's probably because they're just too fair right now. If you're not playing, if your army's not broken, you're probably not playing it as much. But we'll see how they do. I have no idea how to play against them or what to expect, so... I'm probably going to play very wrongly against them. That's okay. That's how we learn, right? Who's your honor guard and what are you? So, for my honor guard, um, Dorothy is my general, and then the Kurnoth sides are the honor guard, and I'm going to choose bodyguard. So, if anything ends up in combat, Holy within in the combat range of Dorothy, they're going to end up getting minus one to their attack profile. Got as it. long as Dorothy is within three inches of the Kurnoth hunters with sides. Got it. And the Kurnoth hunters with sides, by the way, get plus one rend if they are charged. Okay. So they're kind of like my wardens in Lumineth. Sounds scary. Yeah, so they want to be charged. Yeah. I, I don't think that they're as good as the bows, but I, I felt like it seemed to go pretty well. Bodyguard, like being kind of a anti-charge, just hold my ground sort of a thing. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, uh, will you be giving me the first turn? I will be giving you the first turn. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to do, but let me think on it for just a second longer and then we'll get right to it. For my battle tactic, I'll go ahead and go seize the center because I don't see an alternative. Um, but before I do get in that, um, I think I got the bodyguard role wrong. Your bodyguard unit, the kernel size, have to be wholly within six inches of my general Durthu and they can't have charged. Correct. To do the bodyguard thing, the minus one attack profile. Um, and Warsong Revenant, just trying to optimize play. I put right here because I'm going to use Dirt, um, Belthanos' ability to try to turn this into a place of power that we should get a plus one off of it. Um, does place of power happen before you get to do your hero phase stuff? Yes, battle tactic, place of power. And then hero face. There. I think his ability actually also starts then too. Let's see. Um, start of any turn. So yeah, okay, so it still gets to use the pace of power. So we're going to go and do that now. Um, so my battle tag is seize the center, and then as well as a start of any turn, once per battle, I'm going to use Belthanos' ability, Nature Aetheric. I'm going to pick this terrain feature right here, since it's within six inches of Belthanos. Um, for the rest of the battle, this train feature gains place of power ability and it's considered awakened wildwood for the purpose of endless growth, walk the hidden paths, and strike and fade abilities. Um, and one thing I want to note is one of the probably the biggest change for Sylvaneth with the with the FAC updates is now you get to add an additional three inches to the like range of um, wildwood effects on wildwoods. You get to increase that range by three inches for each piece in that terrain setup. So since there's two pieces here, instead of the base six inches, it becomes nine inches. So anything holy within nine inches gets the effect. So if I had three trees, it would be 12 inches. That's huge. Huge, huge. Because before we were limited to holy within six inches, which is so freaking hard to get. So this is really big. Um, I think that does mean now some of the players probably really want three full sets of trees because you can only have a max of three trees on the table at a time. Unfortunately, I only have two, so I'll probably be placing them in groups of two just so I can try to get my three pieces on the board. Well, I mean, nine inches is... Nine inches is good. That's good what enough. we were playing with last season in 3.0. Yeah. Um, Twelve inches, obviously, is better than nine inches, but that's, like, win more. Like, I'm happy with having the nine inches. Um, okay. So, that was the start of turn stuff. Um, so, let power. me go ahead and activate place of power. Yes. 
she gets it. Uh, that's the Warsong Revenant. She's a two cast wizard, so now she gets plus one to her casts. Um, Dirthu is now a one, a level, a power level one wizard, but he's not within range to activate this. It's okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go into spell casting. First, I want to try to cast. Do you, you get plus two on binds now? What does the slam get? I know you still have board wide, I think. Uh, just board wide. I don't. I get a plus one to casting. I don't think I get anything. No, I want to cast rules. Nothing to unbind. Okay. Okay. Good. <sighs> that was so oppressive in 3.0 when you get like plus two, plus three to unbind. <laughs> um, okay, so she's going to try to cast. Um, the, what was it, the um, Wildwood spell, which is now Tree Song. Blah. All right, I get it on 11. Okay. I have plenty of unbinds, so. Okay, I get my tree. Okay. Trees, rather, I'm gonna put two down. Now, it's another life improvement. These just have to be outside one inch of terrain and objectives before it was three inches so that's also a big um i guess buff because it can be a bit difficult <laughs> that's not an objective oh yeah this is not objective i see it and i think it's an objective it's not duh. just okay. our center marker for c is the center and i think i'm going to i do need to stay outside one inch of that piece though Whoop. I need to make sure I leave space for everything else to get on there. I don't actually need this touching the center. It's going to be a 9 inch, so it will cover everything I need it to cover. Okay, and I basically want to see if I can cover, yes, I can cover this objective with this, and I cover the center with it. Perfect. I know it gives you kind of a springboard, but I just gotta live with that. All right, so there's the tree. Next thing I'm gonna do is have Warsong Revenant try to cast Wrathful, no, yes, Wrathful Spirits on that tree. So these trees had to come down holier than 24 inches. I think before it was 18, but now it's 24 inches. So we got more range, they get a bigger area of effect, and they can be within one inch, which is awesome. That's just a huge glow up, I think, for Sylvanath. All right, Wrathful Spirits, which will give my units, as long as they're within range, uh, wholly within, um, range of this tree right here, this wildwood, they will improve their run by one. I get it on a nine. You got it. All right. Um, and this is until the start of my next turn. Well, they're wholly within, I don't know, this one is still six inches. Gross. Okay, that's fine. Not nine. Um, final spell. I think I'm gonna go with the Glade Worm, just because it sounds fun. It's a wizard hunting endless spell. So, let me find my little Glade Worm card here. Glade Worm. Four, five, I don't think it goes off on a five. Let me double check real quick. Well. Oh, yep, you might want to double check. <laughs> I will double check. I don't remember, though. I tried to make it easier for you, but... You did, thank you. You should have just rolled one, just one, one more higher. One more higher. One more higher. That's all I needed from you. Um, seven. That is six. Okay, seven. All right. That's fine. Everything is seven. Just for future reference. All of the endless spell costs for some of that are seven. Okay. That is it for my spells, um, and I think that's it for my hero phase. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I could be. Just let me know in the comments. Casting an endless spell. Go for it. So you're going to lose a main point for that? Yep. Okay. Which and um, I guess I'll go purple sun, so I need a nine on the dice. That My dice haven't been rolling very well. Whatever. Oh, that looks like a nine. All right, I'll try to unbind it. No, that's, that's an eight. Oh, it's Nate. Never mind. I can't math. Well, if you weren't minus one, I would have got it. You would have got it. Okay. 
Um, I believe that is in for that is it for the Euro phase. So we'll go ahead and go into the movement phase and come back when we're done moving. Everything moved up. So auto ran with Durthu to make sure we got on to the center. Ran with Kurnoth size. They are everything's wholly within six inches of each other. Everything's also wholly within six inches of the street to get that additional rend. Um, Kurnoth bows move forward five inches. Unfortunately, they're still not going to be within range. I could have run them at that point, but I think I'm fine with where they're at. Gossamer archers, which do have a two inch range, like coherency range. Um, they're just to barely towing this objective. The seekers over here are barely towing this objective. Belthnos is just hiding next to this little tower behind the seekers. Revenant ran forward to try to get within six inches of this tree. She's not quite wholly within six inches, um, but she's still getting other benefits from the trees. And I think that's really it. So I've just kind of basically moved everything up in this kind of wide, messy castle circle. Um, definitely in range for him to crash into my army with most, if not all, of his army. So we'll, this may be a very fast game. Uh, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know what. what I, I. don't know what kind of defensive capabilities my army has, and I don't know what offensive capabilities he has. So this will be. It. We'll see what happens. Are you going to be redeploying? I believe so. And this uh, will be redeploying closer. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. So we yeah. use command point. Um, uh, it will redeploy. I want to redeploy one of these two. I don't uh -huh. know, them closer or them closer or them closer that way. I think I am going to get these guys closer. Okay. Redeploying them. Oh, five oh inches. God. Mm. Good thing you can't charge after you redeploy. Yeah. I'm tempted to go see how strong Honor Guard is and go do my anti infantry into those guys, but. Um, I also think I need to go this way, so we'll just go that way. Okay. Mm. This is scary. Any shooting? And now I'm out of range and everybody ran. Any charging? Uh, no, definitely not, no. Any anything else? No. Going to points? Going to points. So I should get uh, five from objectives. I got one for here and then two for this objective, two for this up. So that's five plus my four, so nine. Nine points. Nine points, yep. And then we'll go into the bottom. I'll turn one. With Seraphon. Okay. I don't have a place power. Would you like to activate your place power? I don't believe so. I don't think I'm going to cast anything. All right. I'm going to take the flanks. Mm-hmm. Um, let's cast some spells. Uh, first one, I'm going to do my slam to give my Star Priest here a plus one to cast. It's going to be Celestial Equilibrium on a six. Yeah. Nope. I don't get it. And, uh, okay, let's cast some endless spells. Let's, uh... How many casts do you get? Three and two, so five. Okay. Um, let's start with Purple Sun. Uh, my slan will cast purple sun. Yep. Hmm. On a and eleven. Okay. He is a natural plus one. Um, unfortunately, my war song remnant is not wholly within six inches of the tree, so she does not get plus unbind. Um, you have three more casts. Three more casts after this, yes. and you got it on eleven. You got it. I'm not gonna bother trying to get box cars. Probably. I'm probably good right there. Yeah, looks good enough. Um, he is then going to um, give. No, he's then going to give. Uh, what's he going to do? I don't know. What's he going to do? I don't know. He's going to use this as a vassal. So if I'm wholly within 12 inches, I can choose to do the spell through him. And I think I'll do Grave Tide. Okay. Uh, yep, Arcane Vassal. So I'm going to cast Grave Tide with my slam through him for his last spell. Is that what I want to do? What else do I have? I have the Haunchy one. I have 
No, we'll do, for, uh, for my slam, we will do uh, Mystical and Forging, and we're going to take subtract one from their Ren. Um, no. Wait. Nope, you got to be holy within 12. Never mind. Woof. Okay, then we'll do Grave Tide. Holy within 12. That's gross. No, no within. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, no Grave Tide. Okay. We'll use these ones. Uh, my slant here will now cast... Um, do I have anything in range? Oh, the Hanshi one. So I can run and uh, still charge. Okay. This group right here. I don't think I get it on a five. All right. I think Seraphon's supposed to be better at casting spells. You would think. <laughs> or they were in 3.0 for sure. Yeah. I'm okay if they're not magic dominant army anymore. Great. Um, I guess. I think smashy dinos makes more sense than casty dinos. It's a slam. The slam starts. Oh, I know the frog is the supposed to be casty. Is the but... um, what are those chains called? He'll cast Shackles. The Shackles. Hey, I got on a nine. Right, I'll try to stop that. Okay. Uh, he stops on eleven. Nice. That is my magic phase. I don't okay. have any priest, and I believe that's all. So, what would you would you like to cast a spell? No, I don't think I'm going to. All right, go on to my movement. Go for it. All right, I moved. I got my flanks real quick. Battle tactic. These guys move forward so they can attempt to charge us. Um, I'm over here trying to guard uh, my home objective. And Slain got out of dodge because he's scared of um, these people right here. Would you like to redeploy? I thought about it. Maybe. But I'm not going to. Okay. Go on shooting. Well, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I guess I could. That I only got three points, and I kind of want to have redeploy, shoot, and counter charge available. But obviously, I can't. I would need four command points for that. So no. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, I am gonna redeploy. I'm gonna redeploy then. Ugh. How far away are you now? I believe I am either four or five. Let's try five. Uh, four and a half, maybe? Maybe just outside of half. So I'll be seven and a half, roughly, around there away. Um, so we're just gonna. I said three inches, right? Mm -hmm. It might just be over half an inch. Well, we can pull out a an actual ruler and see if it comes down to it, but whether that's a seven or an eight inch charge, I don't know yet. Okay, that was my redeploy. Would you like to shoot? I'm pretty sure I don't have any shooting, so... So I could... These guys, if they were to shoot, they have a 12 inch range, um, which all of them but this dude would reach. I could then redeploy, or I could shoot and then move another D6 away to get firmly out of the way. Or I can be greedy and shoot with them, and they would have to target them. But maybe I just need to get those things out of dodge, just so they're safe. Yeah, we'll go ahead and shoot with these guys. Only four are going to be able to make it in. Okay. Um, their profile is going to be two attacks each. Is my champion? Yes, he is shooting. Okay. So that'll be nine attacks. Three, it'll be become fours, threes. Rend one, one damage, they crit auto wound. So it's not gonna do much of anything, but that's okay. At least they get to another redeploy, essentially. Two, four, six. You can now all defense if you want to. Ha, ah, joke's on you. I think we've been playing that way. I know, we have been. Yeah, I do not. I have one command point, and I think I'm gonna use it to reroll a charge or um, all out attack. Okay. All right, looking for fours. Crit auto wound. So we got two crit auto wounds and only one four. And threes. Nothing. So two at run one. Uh, um, was five? It? Good. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to do any damage. It's just basically giving them another redeploy. D6. All right, D6 movement. Four or five. Nice. That should be completely out of dodge. should be able to get out of dodge. Live to fight another day. Um, so, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, we're just, I think, gonna re retreat back into the trees here. Yeah, we got an 11 inch charge from them. Okay. One the tree. Um, going to charge base? Go for it. Crocs, of course. <laughs> Actually, we'll do purple sun first. Okay. That might be fun. Nine inches. Come on. Nope. No. Alright. Crocs, of course. Yeah. Eight. Alright. You want to go into the sides, right? I think I do, actually. Uh, eight. So, three inches. I think I could technically just hit the size. Three inch combat range is pretty big. So, I should be good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get over there. Well, I, I can be at, and be out of combat range with him, right? Um, you just don't want to get up against this dude because he, he three inches is going to, this is all three inches here. So you don't want to come on this side of him. So you basically only be able to get here. Right here. Yeah. So one, two, three. Yeah, I can get the full unit. Okay. We're doing that then. We'll see if the minus one attack characteristic. Well, I don't think you're going to be minus one because you're not within three inches of Belthanos. I thought they had to be wholly within six inches of him and not charged. Yeah, but I think they have, don't you also have to be within three combat range of the general to get the minus one attack profile? Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea that works. I can get there, but the tree is holding me back. The strength of the tree. I do get to do mortal damage at the end of the charge phase with these trees. Okay. Let me make sure it's in the charge phase. No, it's in the combat phase before we fight, before we go to combat. Okay. Good. No more charges for me. No more charges? You're not going to attempt the 11 inch over there? No, I kind of need two points. I'm already, oh, okay. I decided against two points there. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, moving to combat. Do you have any combat abilities? I do, but do you have any? I, um, I don't believe so, no. Okay. Um, the tree mm -hmm. is going to try to do mortal damage to you. Okay. Um, I, on your crux scores, I'm going to... Try to get a four up. Nope, you're good. All right, Croc scores are pretty good where they are. Three inch uh, range, so we're going to start and we're going to go everything into your size. Okay, and you are outside of three door three, so you're not minus one to attack. Should have left up for counter charge. And okay. we will all out attack. Um, one last command point. I do want to, I will be all out defensing here. I'm just trying to decide. Are all your dudes within three inches? Should be. Yep. Should be? Okay. Okay. Combat range is pretty big. Yeah, it's just not big enough to get dirt to it, <laughs> apparently. Um, I don't think, I'm just trying to, I'm just double checking my abilities, making sure I'm not missing anything. I'm probably missing something, but I don't know what it is I might be missing. Uh, I'm just seeing if Kurnos. Oh, well, they do have a combat ability. Pick an enemy that charges turn and is in combat with this unit to be the target. Roll a dice for each model in this unit. For each three up, inflict one mortal damage. Okay, let me do that real quick. That okay. happens in the combat phase. I was like, I feel like they do something in combat. I just couldn't remember. Six dice. Six dice. Three ups. <sighs> okay, six mortal damage. Okay, that kills a crossbow. <sighs> okay, well, we'll take, we'll take this one. That is four attacks that you're going to get. Well, this unit is contest contesting the objective. No, they're not contesting the objective. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to use a command point to give them all defense. What is your rend? Uh, anti infantry, so rend two. Okay. And they are infantry. So okay. their four up is becoming a three up, and then you'll make them a five up. Okay, we'll start with Drake Bike Mall. I had five guys, now I have four with these. So, fours and twos become threes and twos, minus two, two damage. Uh, three! Take away misses. And then two! How much damage do they do? Two damage. Okay. If you had some more models, it'd be three damage. Mm. 
Uh, take away misses. So give me nine saves at minus two. They wound on twos. Yep. I clearly wasn't listening. Nine saves. Mm -hmm. All right, so it'll be nine five ups. I'm not scared. I got this. I'm totally scared. Uh, five. Two damage each. Well, I mean, I saved four of them. Yep. That's that's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so they don't have a ward because they're not contesting the objective. So that's going to be 10 damage. Okay. And then the... No, they got more attacks. Yeah, the Moonstone Hammer. Oh, the, the Four attacks. Threes and twos become twos and twos. Uh, twos. Okay. Twos again. Uh, two at minus two. Fives. Uh, three Same damage one. this time. Okay. So 13 total. Ouch. That sucks. Um... They are five wounds a piece, so two die, and I've got three wounds on the unit. And I guess I'll pull these two back here. Okay. Mike. Year go. You don't have any more attacks, right? Nope. So I have you pulled both my seekers and the colonel yep. size. Okay. Um. So this size will go ahead and go. I'll just pile it up. I want to make sure I stay holding within six inches. Not that it's doing anything at the moment, but... Oh, I've got plenty of room. Okay, so we are safely able to do this number here. Okay. Size have three attacks each. They are threes, threes. Um, they are going to become their base Ren 1, but you charge me, so that makes them Ren 2. And you're also in the tree. They're in the trees, so that's Ren 3. Mm. Gross. So it's going to be threes, threes, rin three, three damage each. At three attacks each. So four times three is 12, plus my champion 13. Five, 10, 13. Threes. That's a terrific hit. Too mm -hmm. bad sixes don't do anything. If they're swords, you'd be taking two mortal damage each. Threes. Okay. All right. Eight. Straight through. About three ran. Yeah, the eight at three damage each. Three damage each, so... 24? Uh, no, 18. Eight? Eight? No. Eight, eight. 24. 24. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, uh, I have one guy left. Um, we will get out of combat with these guys. I wasn't expecting them to hit you that hard. Oh... I was expecting to hit you a little uh, bit harder. Yeah. You erased a guy on my charge. And then, and then I whiffed um, on some of my rolls. And, and then you I rolled pretty good. Rolled pretty good, yeah. Oh, that's a nice game. Okay. Well. Uh, I think we're out of combat now. Out of combat. So. Um, do you want to. No, you can't power through. Can't power through. No more command points for either one of us. No. So points. Points. I believe I have seven. Seven to your nine. Uh, yeah. Because you don't control this one. Nope. So one plus two is three, four, seven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And roll off. Roll off. Ooh. Five. Mm -hmm. Five. Look. Nope. Oh, you okay. got it. I win ties. All right. We will go into the top of round two with Sylvan. All right, you're underdog, so you have five command points. Yes, I do. And for start of turn stuff, I'm going to go ahead and activate place of power with my War Song Revenant. I get it? I have no place of power. No, it's not close enough. No. And battle tactic, I'm going to go do not waver. So I need to fight with two units and have nothing of my stuff to die. Which I think is definitely doable here, as long as I don't get too greedy, which happens sometimes. Uh, very tempting to get greedy here, but I'm going to try to refrain at least a little bit. Um, spells. War Song is going to start with trying to cast Tree Song to get their, my third tree. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, hey, hey Fox Squares. Damn. I had a really fun plan, Sento, mm -hmm. and you had to stop it. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're not. Nope. It's okay. No, no. 
Not at all. Okay. Whale. Uh, my next spell. Let's go for... Uh, Wrathful Spirits. Is that the one again? Basically improve Rind around this tree here. Through, well, actually, yeah, Durthu is going to cast that one. Does on an 8. He does not get pluses. Yeah. You got it. Okay, so we got additional Rind around this tree again. Okay. And then, and then, I might go with Warsong's Warsong Bomb, which is nowhere as good as it used to be. Um... So I get to pick a friendly awakened wildwood, holder within 18 inches, this one. Um, take up three visible enemy units within nine inches of the terrain feature. So the Crexagore and them, they look like they're within nine inches of this tree. Looks good. And I'm going to roll a dice for each of them on a two up. They take that much more damage. Cast it first. Oh, yeah. Five. Nine. So ten. You started it. I did. All right. So it goes off. Um, Proxagor takes two mortal damage. Okay. Source Wars? Source Wars takes three mortal damage. You kill one. Yeah. I need it. And one wound, two units. We will go. Okay. And that is it for my spells. You got anything? Oh, sure. Four. Uh, four. Let's go. Uh, I probably should have thought about this while you were casting all your spells, but it's okay. Yeah, I did. It, did it. Um, it's okay. What's their movement? That's a great question. I think it's it's either twelve or fourteen. Maybe. It's a lot. It is twelve. All right, whatever. We'll do slam grave guard or grave tie. Grave Okay. On the slam. So plus one. Nope. And that was a command point. Yeah. Going to your movement? Yes, going to my movement. Oh, heals. I don't know. Oh, I had, yeah, I actually do have, um, oh, when's the heal supposed to happen? I think in the, I forgot when the heal happens. It might have happened at the end of turn, which I want to do that real quick. Um, so, battle trait is end of any turn. You mind if I do this? I forgot it on sure, the lot of your turn. Yeah. Pick any number of friendly sun up units. Hold it in six inches of friendly awakened wildwood to be the target. Then, because they have three wounds on this unit currently. Um, and I get to heal D3. Sounds good. Two. Two. So they have one wound taken on the unit. Sounds good. And I can't strike and fade while in combat, right? Why not? Oh, can I? I can. What strike? What? What? How would you reword strike and Take fade? Take a friendly. To, yeah. It's called strike and fade. Not. Guys, I am sorry. I'm playing bad still enough. I'm like forgetting to use my actual battle traits. So at the end of any turn, pick a friendly Sonos unit that is in combat and wholly within six inches of friendly Wake and Um. Although that does mean... No, I'm not going to strike and fade, though, because my do not waver. Yeah, I figure. Yeah. I was like, I don't even think you need... Uh, There's one little cross score. I don't, I don't think you're terrible cross yeah. Okay. Cool. I just need to remind myself to actually use my abilities. Okay. Going um, I'm going into movement. Went ahead and moved the Gossamans up within 12-inch range to shoot them. Shifted these guys a little bit, the bow knots, in order to kind of cover this objective, but still be within 18 inches to shoot them. Um, current officer stuck in. The Warsong Revenant ran and got all over this side. So now she's wholly within six inches of this tree, but still within three inches of this place of power in order to um, get full benefits there. The um, Seekers ran this way and uh, Belthanos ran over here, so we're surrounding these guys, and I think, oh, and then Durthu also ran, so it's three units there that ran that I will be allowing to charge with Belthanos' ability on um, the charge phase. Um, Durthu ran right here, so that way hopefully he can manage to get a charge off and wrap around to hit this little Oscar, but we'll see. Would you like to do any movement? Yeah. 
We're going to redeploy my Agrodons to see if I can't get out of your shooting range. Makes sense. Ah, four? Yep. That might that be That should do it. Because I think I was pretty much just in range. We'll find out. But they are in range of them boys. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So for shooting, we'll go ahead and go with the little revenants here. Um, trying to see. No, not my champion. So it's just going to be four attacks going into your dinos over there. Okay. Two, four, and they are going to be threes. Threes. Red one. One. No crit auto wounds. All right, four at run one. Uh, the revives. One damage each. Okay, I take four. Okay, and then I'll move D six four two. Well. And then the bone offs will send their shots into your source warriors. Those are the other ones they can reach. Um, they, I believe, are two attacks each as well. What's yep. their rend? Rend one. Hmm. They get an additional rend against heroes, but I'm not in range. You stopped my trees that I was going to teleport them to. You said threes and threes? Mm hmm. Yeah, it'll be threes, threes, rend one, two damage each. Okay. So it's going to be 13 shots. Five, eight, ten, thirteen. Three. Yikes. That's a lot of ones and twos. Okay. Threes. Hmm. Only three. Uh, I'm looking for fours. I'm wholly on that objective, so I get a plus one to my save. Fours. Save two. Two damage. One more, guys. Strong shooting work here. Uh, Dursu, are you in range to shoot? Let's see. Can he run and shoot? No, he cannot. You're right. But he can't run and charge because of Belthanos. Cool. All right, that is it for my shooting. Do you have any shooting? I do not. Okay, so we'll go into charge phase. Charge it. Belthanos is going to use his ability to give three units on the battlefield who run the ability to still charge. Um, so he's going to give himself, the Seekers, and Dursu. Charge it. So we're gonna start with the seekers. Ah. Okay, plenty. We'll just get the mod in there like so. Belt the nose. Okay. And then Dursu. Six. Don't know if six is enough for him, maybe. Think so. so you would need to get around the tree. Weird. Oh no. Need like a better bindi. I don't know. I don't. Can you just. Well, can you do it on yours? Four would be right there. Yeah. And then two. two. Okay. Yeah, you should be good. I'm like, I know there's an easier way to do this than what I'm doing currently. Oh no, I broke him. He lost a hair tendril. Life of a Sylvaness. They're so fragile. Okay. Um, and then I think that's it. Would you like to do any charges? Uh, I don't think so. Here we go. Okay. Combat abilities. Combat abilities. 
make sure I'm not missing any charge abilities. I don't think so. Oh, no, these are all combat abilities. So first, oh, no, Kurnoth's ability, does the size ability only works when something charged. Mm -hmm. So theirs is not going off. Um, Dursu, I could, like, potentially, oh, no, his is for um, monsters, which are not. Belthanos, I'm going to roll a d3. On a two up, inflict an amount of mortal damage equal to that move, and then I can pick them up and put them back down within one inch of these units. I'm basically just wanting to do mortal damage. Okay, two mortal damage to them. And he's gonna go boop, boop. Two more. Okay. All right. That is it. Oh, the trees. We'll try to do mortal damage to your uh, Cruxagor on a four. Okay, that's it for my combat abilities. You have me? I don't think so. Okay, so then combat. Who do I attack with first? I think I'm gonna attack with Belthanos. What was that? I forgot to do something. Okay. My son claw star host. What's that? At the end of every turn, mm -hmm. I uh, pile in with a Croxagore or Saurus Warrior, and then roll a D3 and you take de many dam damage damage. I'm trying to help you take damage. I think it's my house. Mm. Um, did you just roll a three damage to me? Yeah, no, but it's fine. I was curious on... Because I can always just pick up a... It would have been enough to kill another slice. Um, no, that's fine. I, I, was, I already missed it. I missed it. I'm just playing my, my, my own game. My own oh, game. in your own head. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Belthanos is going to go. And um, just making sure I'm not missing anything. He, so to start, he's got five attacks. Three, four, five. And um, his five attacks. And to these guys, right? Yeah, and to those guys. It's going to be threes, threes, rend, two, and it's going to be three damage because I charged. Okay. And then the other attack is going to be four attacks, fours, twos, rend, two, uh, three damage. Okay, I'll go for it. Okay. Just trying to decide if I all attack. I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Um, threes. Threes. Ugh. Only one. Made it through. Two damage. Or two rins, sorry. Sixes. Nope. Three damage. Uh, one dies. Okay. And then we'll go with the mandibles. Fours. Mandible. Only two went in. Twos. And only one. At rin two. Uh, six. Nope. Three damage. Another one dies. Okay. Well. Yep. Cards are into your size. <sighs> yep. Four uh, are you still rent two? I am still rent two because you're still infantry. Uh, do I? A lot of things. Saving on a six. Go for it. Fours. Cool. Yes. Well, I did it. Cool. I mean, I'm sorry. That sucks for you. It was awesome. Okay. Uh, was awesome. Yellow dice are not doing hot. Okay. okay. Um, then I will go with the seekers. Okay. I don't know what seekers do. Let's see. So, first is going to be their sickles. That's so going to be three attacks each. Three times three is um, nine, ten attacks. Six, ten. So, be threes, fours. Rend one, one. Um, these do crit mortals. Uh, one crit mortal. Five saves, ring one. Uh, looking for fives. Yeah. Okay. Damage? You sure you don't want to switch to different dice? No. Okay. One damage each. Five plus a crit mortal, right? Plus a crit mortal, so, so six. six. So two die. All right, then I'll do the mandibles. Sinto does not give up on his dice. Does not give up, okay. You got one Never one. give up, never surrender. 
Did you just quote Galaxy Quest? I did. It's a freaking amazing movie. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good movie. So dumb. I like Tim Allen. It's good. <laughs> um. Let's just say you got one okay. wound left. I got one wound left on this. Okay. Movie. okay. You're, 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 you're in a movie right now. Oh uh, yeah, I'm reliving Galaxy Quest in my head, and it's amazing. Okay. And then you got two units here. Yeah. That should be able to do three wounds. Oh, you're not gonna let me attack with third move? Okay, you go for it. Attack with them. I just want to see what he does. Do it. Do it. You got one little crocs here. Okay. I can roll. Well, I can do a U. I can completely whiff. I don't know, those green dice. The okay. green dice have been rolling a bit hot. Swing. Well, I, I, I gotta find Darthu's card because I don't remember his uh, attack profile. Oh, here's. Okay. Ah, so he's got five attacks. No, four attacks with the Guardian Sword. Plus one to hit because he's within three inches of a tree. Okay. Um, this is going to be threes, twos, rin two, actually rin three because of the tree and five damage each. Damn. Rin okay. three, okay. Well, okay. See, I, you know, twos, one, rin three. Sure. Five damage? Okay. He's still dead? Yeah, he's Okay. Dead. Uh, I think that's combat. Yeah, and no striking fade because nobody's in combat. Oh, I could. No, I can't power through because everything's dead. All right. Yeah, that's me. Um, Nine points again? No, I don't have this anymore. Oh. So seven points. Seven points? Yep. All right. Then we'll go to the bottom of round two for Seraphon. I'm going to do take their land because I don't think I have much left or an easier one. Okay. Which? which? I'll go with that one over this there. This one? Yep. Okay. Um, uh, place of power, you? Uh, no. Okay. Um, let's cast some magic. Okay. Let's do, um, through him, we'll do, um, with our, well, slam a plus one to cast for my, for my other wizards. Okay. I do get it on a nine. My, this is going to get this one plus one plus cast. cast. Alright, I will try to stop that. I have four other spells. Um, I do get a plus one to stop this. Because she's now holding it in six inches. Six, seven, eight. You got it. Alright. Um, so he will cast... Um, is she in range of your slam? Probably. Three inches is pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. All right. She will cast, or my guy here will cast. Great time. On a nine. You've got great time. Okay. Nine. Uh, my sir, my slam will cast a uh, speed of on uh, Hachi way, so they okay. can run and charge and get stuff like that. On a nine again. Try to stop it. This is um, her last unbind. She stops she on stopped. eleven. Darth, you still has an unbind. Uh, let's see. Uh, my steam will cast sure. shackles. Cut. And 11. Okay. 12, technically. You got it. I got shackles. Well, I got it. Hey, shackles is OP. I say that seriously. <laughs> I'll just put you right there. Okay. Um, on the sides. Oh, do it now? Yep. Okay, sides. Nope. Dirty. Dirty. Two. Yep, two. Minus two movement and two mortal damage. 
Alright. Um, let's do my slam will then cast probably nothing. Uh oh, I guess uh comments call the shitty one now. Uh let's see if I get it first. I get it on a seven. No. Okay. I'm gonna do your Cosmic Archers. Um, I'm gonna roll six, five dice on a five up. I'll do one mortal. It's my last spell. Oh, okay. Nice. Dorothy nice might one. as well try to stop it. And you got it. Okay. And five ups. One mortal on your Cosmic Archer. I got a phone. Um, my slan, I probably should do this first, will try to bring back three croxibors. What? On a four up. Four up. No. Hit up. Nope. Oh. I should have rolled a green dice. You should have. Uh, you said yeah. you don't give up on your dice. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yellow dice. You shitty yellow dice. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, going. Oh, would you like to cast a spell? No. Then go into my movement. Seraphon moved. I don't know. We didn't have we didn't have much to move. Um, these guys came over here. We we dropped down these guys finally, so they're all within range of that thing. So I should be able to maintain that control. They moved here. They're gonna try a long bomb charge. Uh, what else? I moved everything forward pretty much on this side. These guys stayed put, and the purple sun moved up at inches. Would you like to redeploy? I don't think so. I think the Gossaman archers are kind of, they're, they're just going to have to be gone. It's okay. Okay. I know I didn't use them to their full potential, but I'd rather they get hit than my bow and offs. And um, going to shooting? Would you like to shoot me? I would. Shoot me. Bow and will be shooting, and these boys are the closest unit. A lot of defense. Okay. Since that is allowed now. Yeah. Even though we've been playing it that way this entire time. My because, bad. well, I mean, I think that's how it should be played. Just semantics, I guess. Um, so, 13 shots. Fours, threes. Yep. Rin, one, two damage. Yep. Fours. Does this look like enough? That does not look like the right amount of dice. Five, ten. That's not. I need three more dice. Counting is hard, so let me uh, remove these misses real quick. So far, we have five that have hit. Let me roll three more. We got two more that hit. Okay. Threes. Okay. Seven. Rind one. Looking for fours. Ha! I failed three. They're base three save. They're base oh, four. Oh, yeah, yeah, all at defense. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, three, three guys. Two damage each. Six damage. That is. One dead? Two dead. Two because dead. there's four. Oh, because um, I had done damage yeah. before. Yeah. Okay. All you, bud. Charges? Go for it. Purple sun. Enough to get in the bone offs. Not the bone offs, sorry, the sides. Um, whatever, let's try Source Wars. Okay. The orange ones. Orange group. Hey, hey, and is enough. That is enough. I believe they are nine inches away. Yep. Okay. Should be enough. And then with these room for the air diamonds. For three. Uh, I don't know if three does it. You want to check for me? So aggrodons? Yeah. Uh, I actually think one of them is within three inches. Or is at three inches. It's actually closer than three inches. So yes, three gets you there. Okay. So we'll move them up then. If two can get yeah. side by side, that would be cool. Uh, it's... it's your stuff is all sticky. Oh my god. They're sticky. There. Two okay. side by side. Okay. There we go. Any other charges? I don't think so. Okay. That is my turn. Or my charge phase. Would you like to counter charge? Uh, no. There's nothing really that can counter charge. Okay. Combat abilities. 
does the co the bone off? Not bone. Off, the um, size. Does their ability work on the endless spell? Uh, pick an enemy unit that charged this turn and is in combat. I don't think it's considered a unit. Oh, I hate the manifestation rules. They're so backwards. I'm not going to worry about it. It would be one mortal damage at most, so we're not going to worry about it. Okay. Um, the trees don't. I don't know if those affect manifestations either, so I'm not going to worry about it. But I will have these trees hit... Over here, try to do damage to uh, both of these are within combat range of the tree. Okay. So on a four up for your war, your orange warriors, take D three mortal damage. I have to roll them separately. Two. Okay. Well, one dies. And then um, the charger the chargers are those chargers. Aggrounds. Aggrounds. Okay. Yep. And I'll take. Three. Okay. There. And I think that's it for my combat abilities. Okay, move into combat. We will start. Um how many aggrodons can I get into you? Uh let's see. Agrodons. Oh agrodon, sorry. Um you, you should be able, yeah, it's just our wings and everything sticking out. It's making it difficult to actually slide them in, but you should be able to get all of them. Okay, yeah. we'll start with them. What's the rend? Um, and yeah, time I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Just go for it. Um, we're going to do the fun one, striking talons. There's four of them, so three attacks each. Um... Uh, there are fours and threes. We will do all out attack because this, this is the bottom of the turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, there. I was making sure we kill those guys. So threes and threes, minus two, two damage. Threes! Yeah. Hey. Hey. Threes. Hey. Hey, they're, they're showing up. Nice. We're going to really kill, kill some gossip archers. My yeah. gossip is. Uh, that was like nine at minus two. It just goes straight through. Two damage each, so 18 damage. Okay, they're gone. I'm pretty sure they're a 5-up save. I guess I can double check real quick, but I, I don't see how a world where they're not a 5-up save. Uh, yeah, they're a 5-up save. Oh. They'd be gone. Okay, my go. Do I count, um, it doesn't matter right now, but do I count as being in combat with the tree from Agrodons for yes. my uh, primal rationing? Well, what's your primal uh, If this unit used a fight ability this turn, place a rage token next to him. Uh, if this unit did not use a fight, uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't need to be in combat, I just had to have used a fight. Fight ability, yes. So. Okay. Um, this doesn't happen now, but I wonder. The size will go ahead and attack the purple sun. Hit me. Just trying to think. What else is going to be fighting, I guess, or if they will be fighting? Um, I might as well all attack. Okay. Choose! Ew. Grody. I'm glad that I all attack because I have two twos in here and I have five ones. Threes. Okay. So that is six at rend three. Straight through. Three damage each. Okay. Um, so you said six? Mm-hmm. So 18. 18. I don't think I'd make enough wards to the... Okay. Your go. Orange boys. Fight my tree. I'm going to fight the tree. Mm -hmm. I've got ten health. Four up save, five up ward. Because the ward is a new addition with the fact. The tree has a five up Ooh. Yes, it's tough bark, Sinto. It's got a you got to chop a lot. Well, I have spears, so I think I well, brought the wrong tool. I think you did too. For the job. Hopefully, right. that means you won't kill my tree. <laughs> um. So let's say. Uh, I don't know. The back two here don't hit, so seven. Okay. Plus champion, so fourteen, fifteen attacks. Uh, threes and threes, minus one, one damage. 
I don't think I can all out defend the tree, so if I'm wrong, let me know. Threes! Okay, and we went back. We went backwards. Threes! Um, give me six saves at minus one. Okay. Two, four, six. So it'll be five ups. Uh, fail two. Uh, one damage each. Five ups. Take two damage. Great. Told you, tough bark. Tough bark. Okay, eight wounds left. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Dorothy's gonna fight the shackles. Do you want me to roll that? I do not want you okay. to roll that. We'll pick these guys up. Sounds good. Okay. Is that it? That's it. End of turn. Um, do your bows have shooting combat? Hmm, that's a good question. Probably not. But let me see. Okay. I'm gonna pick the orange guys and the Agadon riders to make a piling move. Um, I don't think it matters whether they have it or not. No, I'm going they don't. To pile in this way. I think I'll get in combat. And then pile in around the other one. Oh, we'll stay there. Um, this is going to let me strike and fade them. Oh, really? Yeah, if they're at the end of any turn, if they are in combat. Where do you get a strike and fade? Where do you get to go? Um, I can go to a tree that they did not leave. Okay. Go to a new wild wood, and they got to land whole, uh, wholly within nine inches, but outside of nine. So here, here. Sure. If you want to leave your home base, go for it. Yeah, it um, does make it easier for you to get onto my objective. Um, but I probably will. Argonons to your bow boys. Take three, and um, orange people to your trees. Take two. Would it, this is Mortals. just mortal? Mm -hmm. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I gotta catch up to what you're doing. I think I have a. Yes, I got a six up award on the bonus because they're contesting the objective. You said three on them. Mm -hmm. Sixes. Nice. Okay, so I'll take one and then I'll end up healing it. Okay. Um, from the tree. And then a tree, two. Two to the tree, five up ward. Okay. Cool. Take one from the tree. Seven wounds left, and then you're gonna shrink and fade. Oh, I'm losing limbs because they're magnetized. Which Cinta loves magnetizing units. Nope. Loves it. Mm -mm. Uh, puts me at seven points again, I believe. And roll. Hang on. Can you make sure I'm out? I need to be outside nine of your uh, grave tide. No, you got a ways to go. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. Seven points for Seraphon. So okay. 14 to uh, 16. Sounds good. Uh, rolled off. Mark. Six. Ooh, okay. You're gonna get six. No. So you can take the whole turn. You will drop four points, but you will be able to take my home objective and get six points this turn. Um yeah, I think I'll take the double turn. Okay. Um, okay. So we will jump into the top of round three, Seraphon. Seraphon, take the double turn. No battle tactic. So haha, -ha, I don't have to worry about that shit. Um, let's try to get some Croxigors back. I want three Croxigors on a four up. Do it. Four up. Oh. Hey, ah. we got three Croxigors. Hey. Three. Is it the slam that does that? The slam. Mm -hmm. And nine inches away from my friends. Here. Do they get to move the turn they come down? I don't think anything gets to move the turn they come down, right? Unless they specifically say. Oh yeah, you're it's right. It's like a coral. Yep. So nine inches away, right there. Um, right, let's cast some spells. Go for it. Um, we'll try to give my Seraphon a plus one to cast. So we'll do that one. I believe I get it on a seven eight. 
Plus one to cast? Yeah, to my um, skink. Starfish. Uh, um. I'll try to stop. Yep. Okay. Um. My skink will put cast shackles on a seven. Um. What else you got? You got purple sun. Purple sun. Brand I got the charge. speed of Hunchy. I got uh, comments call, which is not very good against you because you don't have any hordes. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. Maelstrom Pulse, but I don't even know how that works anymore. I know they fact it and I right, just stop worrying about it. Yeah. Um, mm. It just, when it hits six, it has to explode uh, at the end of the you're turn. You're within 12 so inches. I could take away a ward, I think. Am I within 12 inches? I don't think so. Okay. Can you take away the trees ward? Oh, 18 yeah. inches. Yeah, I could take away a ward from the 18 inch. Um, I'm not going to touch the because same, same thing. You We don't really know how endless spells and trees work with some of this yeah. stuff. So. Uh, 18 inches, I can take away a ward. Okay. I mean, I don't, I have six, I have like a six up ward on my bonus, but I'm on the war song. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to stop this just because it's annoying, um, with war song. Stops it. Okay. Fine. What spell was that? What did you stop? Shackles. Shackles. Uh, purple sign. Uh, the slam. Nope. And slam's last spell... Um, uh, we'll do the. Does any of these guys have wards? These guys have wards, right? Yeah. We'll turn off their wards. Okay. With my skink, last the uh, shackles, and yeah. These only sun shackles, right? Shackles, purple sun, and plus one caps. Yep. So, take the way away. On a nine. You got it. Alright. Take away their wards. Okay. And last spell from this land. Um, until your next turn? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will just do uh, the speed of Hanji on whatever, the guard. Do I have anything else I need to do? No, that's it, right? Yep. Perfect. I don't get it. It's on a five, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the Skink has a cool ability that I just saw. Stride Stars. We're round three. Um, we're going to roll three dice for every three up. We're going to pick a unit wholly within 18 inches and give them a five up ward. Oh, okay. Uh, until my next turn. So threes. We're going to pick okay, three, three units, units wholly within 18. So you're not wholly within 18. Um, we're going to give these three guys right here a five, five up ward. ward. Okay. They already have a five up ward. So. My war so. song, Revenant, will... Um, once I find you, she decreases wards. Um, uh, oh, she gives still enough units a ward of six up while they're wholly within 12 inches of her, and then sac subtract one from ward rolls for enemy units while they're within 12 inches of her. So, cool. If that happens to come in. All right, then. That is my hero hmm. phase. Would you, you like you to... You mind seeing if what I healed on Dirthu? Sure. Yeah, Do you, how many times you get to heal? I get to heal any of my units at the end of any... Any of them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As long as they're within okay. uh, the range of the tree, the within nine inches. No. Okay. Oh, that's one. It's just D3. It's not like a, on a two up, so he just heals one. Okay. So he got one wound. Taking one wound. There we go. Would you like to cast a spell? It's tempting. I, I need to get, I kind of want to put another tree out there. Um, and maybe I need to, but then at the same time, I kind of want to hold up redeploy and shoot and counter charge and all defense. Um, hmm. I did not do the place of power. So no, I'm not going to cast. Okay, going to my movement. Okay. All right, terrifying is coming from the left. I ran these guys um, to tag that objective. They ran, these guys moved. Um, everything pretty much, we're creating a wall here. Um, 
I think we're just rotating the path. Would you like to redeploy? I think I will. Um, I'm going to redeploy Durthu. I just need to get him in just a smidgen, um, like a two. To do that on thing? Yeah, to get the honor guard up and running. Okay. Um, there is a potential chance that uh, you can roll high enough charge to get into War Song, but you would still be pulling inside, so, yeah. There's the two. Two should be good enough. And two is good enough to put him in that little hole. Assuming I can navigate the pokies. There we go. Okay. Okay. Shooting? Shoot. I don't have shooting. So shoot me. Uh, is it not enough to... Uh, I mean, I guess there is a chance you could avoid... I guess if you go here and not go enough in. Yeah, Maybe. I think it depends on the charge. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. Um, shoot me. Shoot. Command point. Yeah, we'll go and do that. And I think they're still the closest. Okay. Because manifestations can't be targeted by this. They oh, it counts. <sighs> so, 13 dice again. I should just leave out 13 dice because that seems to be the number I get to roll every time. Alright, four, three, three, and one, two in the deep. That was a good roll. Green dice at it again. Let's see what happens on the back end. Still good. Alright, so we've got seven at minus one. Seven, so four. I failed two damage each. three, so six damage, so one dies and one to the tally. Going to charges? Charges. I think the only thing I have to charge is my hydro guns. Yep. Let's see how big this charges. Okay. Uh, nine. I think that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I uh, should be able. I think I'm gonna go that way. I think you left me an opening. Yeah, to get to being my main combat. Oh, without mm -hmm. being pulling combat. it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I tried. There's probably no way for me to really save that. It's probably a stupid redeploy. Probably just should have kept it as a um, counter charge. I'm not um, good with the whole counter charge thing. With two command points is just a horrible two. Would you yeah. like. I think that's all my charges. Yeah. Oh, uh, Crocs. No. Let's see what the Crocs are going to do. Okay. No, I just. Nope. Alright. Would you like to counter charge? Do you want to charge with your grave type? No, I think I'm leaving it up as a wall. Okay. But try to my home base. Uh, I can't counter charge now with Durthu because I redeployed him. Um, so I guess that's all I got. Alright. Well, don't act like you're not about to kill another Aggron. <laughs> yes. Combat abilities. Go ahead, mm -hmm. do your... My tree thing? Do your tree thing, do your, okay. do your other thing. Uh, four up on them. Yeah. Nope. Four up on them. Nope. Four up on them. No, I should have gotten a different dice. Okay. Oh, keep that one. Don't you don't you have one with this guy with these guys? I charge them, right? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, that was, a, that, that was a that one well it's only three dice now, because it's just as many dudes as in your Okay, well you only need three up. one to kill another. Yeah, three up. Okay, two mortal damage. Alright, one dice and one, two. Is it as many as I have, or as many as you have? I think it's as many as I have, which I have three or four dudes. Mm -hmm. Let's go with this guy. Let's see. Roll well, dice for each model in this unit, so I get one more dice. All right, one more. Okay. Two. All right, so we'll start with them. Uh, we'll go with the bow ones. So four attacks now, because they have the thingy. Uh, and we'll do all of tech. Good. Yep. Is anybody else in combat? Uh, think Besides so. the trees here. Yeah, trees. Uh, I might as well. What is their rent? Um, against you, against that specific unit, they are going to be anti infantry 2. Alright, I'll defense. Huh. 
All right, eight attacks for this one. This is the bites and talons. Uh, threes and threes minus two, two damage. Threes. All right, so awesome. That was good. So good. Yellow dice. Strike and in. threes. Two at minus two. Okay. Five ups. Ah, save one. Two damage each. Six up board. Save one. Take one. one. And then the spear. Uh, twos. And then threes. Okay. Uh, three at minus two. Okay. Fives. Save one. Two damage each. Alright, All right, sixes. Take three more. Got one wound left on the unit. Cool. Again, the magical 13 number that I seem to be stuck on. All right, 5, 10, 13. Um, so, 3, 3. Rind, it's going to be th rind, rind 3 again because you charge me and the tree is giving me plus 1 rind. Straight. Straight through. Okay. 3s. Okay, so I'm liking the kernel size so far. <laughs> And the green dice. And the green dice. All right, so that's seven. Three, two. Three damage each, yeah. Okay, do. I killed none of your models. Um, and yeah, you killed four you of mine. But yeah. On my turn. Yeah. Trees are angry. The trees are super angry. They're super, super angry. See. Now you guys over there, 18, 19 attacks into your tree. Okay. Uh, threes and threes, minus one, one damage. Okay. Threes. And then threes again. Uh, give me 10 saves at minus one. Damage each. All right. Saved three. Five ups. Saved three. Take four. I think they're still alive. Oh, I think they have three wounds left. Yep. Cool. Your little haunchies can attack it. Uh, Might as well move three. Yep. Move three inches. What did they do? I don't know. I know they did. I mean, they probably don't do much damage, but for their points... Oh, they shoot too. Yeah. <laughs> you want to do their shots and their uh, attacks? No. Into the tree? Fours and fives. And then fives. Okay. You want to do their shooting? Into the tree? Uh, threes and threes. And then threes. Oh, that's a lot of fives. I think those are all fives. Five at no rent. Okay. Of course. All right, save two. One damage each. Fives. Take three more. Uh, one wound left, I think. Nope. That was exactly it. Uh -huh. Ah, right. so now I get to remove these while decimating your dudes. Let's get it. Okay. Is that combat? Um, I believe so. Yeah. I don't think anything else is in combat. Um, six points? That will be six points. Let me pick up the dudes I knocked over. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll go into the bottom of round three. Sylvana. 
For the start of my turn, I'm going to activate Place of Power with the Warsong Revenant. Got it. And for my battle tactic, I think I'm going to go ahead and take their land right there. For my Silt Neth have just aggressively advanced forward. And the size just moves their five inches. The, um, what's his name? Belthanos scored a pretty sizable run, landed here. Durthu ran, and the um, Seekers ran. Bonos moved forward five to grab this land piece, and the Warsong Remnant moved here to get this place of power. Um, basically just kind of shifting everything, but also going to take his home territory. I think she smells blood. Yeah. Um, too bad I'm not the underdog, because then I would get plus one to hit against you, but I'm not. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> that would be so gross. Um, would you like to do any movement? Um, I should, but I don't think there's a, any. Uh, I guess, yeah, I'll redeploy Crocky Horse, see if I can't get a little further out. Okay. Or in. Do I want to make it harder for you to get to object? Whatever. Let's redeploy. Three inches. Three inches. You can either go in, you can go out. You decide. We'll go in. It's going to be a bloody smackdown yeah. regardless. Yeah, it's going to be a bloody smackdown. We'll see if I can't hold the objective for a little bit. The problem here is, is my size actually are only going to be Rind run, run 1 because they're going to be charging and they're going to be outside of the tree. So, I don't know. Shooting. Um, shooting. Anyways. Uh, Dirty Rain can't shoot, so it's just going to be the Bone Offs. The Bone Offs are going to shoot. Um, do I actually want to shoot your hero instead of the green dudes? Looks like no, they're not all in range. They're just the green dudes. Green dudes. Green dudes. So 13, dice. 13 dice again. One of these days, I'll keep 13 dice out. All right. Threes, threes. Rind one, two damage each. Threes. Threes. Okay, that is going to be eight. Rind one. Uh, fours, because I'm holding on the objective, so fours. I missed one, two, three, four. Okay, two damage each. Um, so Eight. four die. Okay. We'll take the back of Yeah. Ah. They're like, take me with you. Alright. I, <laughs> I don't want to do this. This is gonna be bad. They're angry trees. Okay, um the bugs. bugs. Angry bugs and trees. Okay. Shooting? More shooting? No, no shooting? that's it. For shooting, we're gonna go into charges. Unless you have... No, go for it. Okay. Let's go with the Bug Riders, the Seekers. Seven. Seven. Can they get on the other side of that tree? They can fly. They can move through their own trees. Seven will take you right here. Yes, if you wouldn't mind doing that. Perfect. Try to open up some space. And I'm assuming you want these guys. That's fine. And then the other one can be on the other side of the... Yeah, okay. right there's fine. They have a two-inch coherency, so they're good. Um, now we'll go with... Um, let's go with the... I'm trying to decide if I should try to see if we can get a long bomb on the sides, but then they might cut off Durthu and... So I think I'm just going to go with um, Belthanos. Okay. Ah. Five? I might have to re-roll this one. Uh, five does not do it. All right. Final command point to re-roll. Eight should do it. Eight does it. I'm assuming straight in. Yeah, yeah, off to the side there to leave space for friends. Okay. Okay, then we're going to go with uh, Dorothy. That is neat. Squeeze do right up against... The green Bell. boys, or uh, you want to go uh, towards cross course? Um, you know what? Yeah, let's go cross course. I figure. I think green boys are numbered. Days are numbered. Yeah, it means he's not getting plus one to hit, but that's okay. 
Um, and then the size. Let's see if I can nail something good on the size here. Ooh, 12. Put them right in between both. Um, here? Yeah. That way they get the plus one from the tree, plus one rent. And they also activate the um, Durthu's minus one to hit, or minus one attack because of bodyguard. Gotcha. Because both those units are in combat with uh, Belfinos. Gotcha. Okay. That was some successful charging right there. Okay. For me, anyways. Would you like to do any counter charges? No, I think I'm going to have to all out defense and all out attacks and stuff. Okay, so combat abilities. Um, Belthanos, on a two up, is going to do some mortal damage to the green boys and then pick his little hiney up and put himself next to your hero. Yep, he's going to do one mortal damage. Or let me make sure I don't have to reroll that. But he does pick up and he can go right into it. And he still has to maintain within one inch of the green boys. But there we go. And one more damage, so one. Uh, let one. me verify on the damage real quick. Um, one of these. This is the downside of me using these cards. Elfinos. Uh, on a two up, inflicting amount of moral damage. That was not a two up, that was a two. Fuck. Alright, it's fine. Put him back where he was. Oh. It was a two. I rolled a two. Alright. It had to be a two up on a d3. Gotcha. So. Okay, um, that was Belthno's combat ability. The tree is going to, on a four up, do some damage to your green boys. Yep. One more damage. Okay, with this one a little bit. Um, the sides, do you only go off if you can get charged? I think so. I think, I that's think it's thing. probably the unit that charged, yeah. So that's not going to happen. Um, and then Durthu, you're not in combat with a monster. So, yeah, that's it for my combat abilities. Nope, I don't have any. Okay, then we'll go into combat. And I think I'm going to fight with Durthu first. Because I'm, I'm afraid of those Croxagor. Seems fair. Um, so, how ends? Am I... I just want to make sure... You're wholly within six for your honor guard, right? That's what you're trying to do. Yeah, I need to be wholly within six of the honor the honor so guard. That much. Uh, you got about two inch and a half. For what? To move if you want to move. If I am I wholly within nine of this tree. Mm, you are barely out. Because I can. You can move in. There you go. Okay, but I'm still still got them right. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm going to send. I'm not within three inches of the tree, so I don't get plus one to hit. Um, but I am going to send my attacks. So it is tempting to go into your hero, but I'm going to send my attacks to your crux, of course. So Belthanos, or sorry, Durthu, five attacks. No, four attacks. Threes, twos. Rend, two. No, rend, three, because I am within range of that tree that's giving me plus one rend. All defense. Okay, rend, three. Hit me. All right. Threes. All hit. Sixes don't do anything. Uh, three, or sorry, two. All right, three at three. Rent three? Rent three. Okay, sixes. Hey, and save, save one. one. Okay, that's gonna be 10 damage total. Awesome. One, so four. And, and then I have Impaling Talons. Okay. There's two attacks and they have crit mortal. Fours. No sixes. Twos. All right, one at rend three. Six. Cool. Three damage. And hey, he's still alive. Okay, here we go. Well, shit. All right, we will attack the sky thighs. All three of these people. Okay. So seven attacks, threes and threes, minus one, one damage. I don't have really good have anything else. Ah, uh, threes. All right, and then threes. One at minus one. Fives. Hey, one damage. And let me see if while this unit is contesting an objective, get a six up ward. Am I they're no, they're not the ones that's minus to their award. So six up. Oh, take it. One damage, right? Yep. Okay. Uh dead. I am losing you. Oh you are? Yep. Okay. Because only one wound left. Okay.
Uh, my go. Um, the bugs are gonna pile into your little hero there. Okay. Can all three of them get? I don't know if all three of them are gonna be able to reach. Um, no, but this one can reach the. Okay. The greenies. Yep. Okay. Um, so two mm -hmm. are gonna go into your leader, um, including the champion. Um, so the seekers. Three attacks each. So that'd be seven attacks. Five, six, seven. It's gonna be three fours. Rend one, one damage crit mortals into your little leader there. We got one crit mortal. Fours. Uh, only one, it rend one. Five. Nope. Okay, so one and one mortal. And then we've got six attacks, fours, threes, rend one. No, it'll be, um, yeah, rend one. Threes. No, fours. Threes. Okay, one at rend one. Five. Nope. Give me two damage since I charged. Okay, is that four out of six? Okay. And then the, the lonesome dude there is going to go into your green boys. Okay. Threes. Fours. All right, two at rend one. Fours. One six. damage. Okay. And then fours. There's my sixes. Threes, uh, three at rend one. Uh, fours. Okay, so uh, these are gonna be two damage each. To the, charge. Should be to the green boys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Car source. Mm -hmm. Four attacks. Mm -hmm. Fours and twos. Twos. One at minus one, and then four more attacks. Go ahead. Uh, four. Okay. Two damage. Save. Three and twos. Then twos. Oh, this is minus one of your attack profile. Did we uh, do that? Uh, no, we did not. No, nope. it's okay. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> I forgot the one time I mean. We'll just take away card. one of these away then, and then okay. do uh, two at minus one. Three damage. Four ups. Take them both. How much damage each? Three. Three. So six total. Okay. Mm. Um, thirteen. So at seven, seven health left. Um. Okay. We will go ahead. They did charge, so they do get to make a pile. Okay. I'm only going to be able to get one in, but that's okay. Let me do this different. Let's pile in with the uh, champion. Okay. All right. Um, four attacks. Three, three. Am I still holding within nine of the tree? The you are holding within nine, yes. Okay. Threes. Threes. Okay, just one, Rin two. Uh, six? Nope. Three damage. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you're dead and you go to two. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Mm -mm. I don't think so. Bells and Nose can't pile in. Yep. To get within three inches, I don't think. Um, if he moves forward, as much as he can, can he get within three inches of that hero? Mm. Yeah, I, I stopped him because of my dude. I should have thought a little bit more into that. That's okay. All right. That's it. I guess you get to attack with your dude. Yeah, if, yeah if he went like that, then he could move in that, that way. I don't know if he would be within three inches, though. That's three inches. Mm. So, probably should have done that. Yep. Go ahead and go at that. Okay. Alright. Combat! That's it. Uh, no command points to pop to pile through or whatever it's called. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. I will get my max six points plus four for battle tactic, so ten this turn. All right. And then we will do a roll off. <sighs> Sweet. Okay, I will definitely take the double turn. Just put me out of my misery. Yeah. Before jumping into my top of four, strike and fade. Move Dirthu from here to here, outside of nine. Um, and also heal. So he's going to heal two. So he went from seven to nine. Um, then... I don't think I had, did I have any more wounds on anybody else? No, nobody else taking wounds, okay. And now we can go into my turn. Um, can't do a battle tactic, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I am gonna activate Place of Power on the Warsong Remnant. Okay, she's good. All right, so spells. Uh, Dorothy is gonna try to cast a tree, tree song. Get it on a seven. Um, you got it. Got it. Okay. Let's put a more trees. More trees. Holy within twenty four inches, as far out this way as I can get. From dirty. From dirt too, but holy within twenty four. Right there. Right there. Okay. All right. Um. And then we're going to Warsong Revenant is going to cast. Let me see. Yeah, 18 inches. I don't think that is within 18 inches. No, but that's okay. She's going to target. Um, let's go ahead and do. We'll see if we can do. Uh, Damage wise to this little Cruxagore. Um, she's going to cast her Spite Revenants or whatever through this tree. He is within nine, so see if we can do our D3 mortal damage to that little Cruxagore there. Or do I even bother? What about your animal spells? They're not going to be able to. I guess I can go ahead and cast my Wizard Hunt. It, it's not going to be able to do anything because they won't. Um, they yeah. can't move. Okay. It's sad because I haven't gotten to show them off. Um, I guess I can go ahead and cast the Glade Worm because it's a wizard hunter. Goes off on a nine. Okay. Alright. So the Glade Worm is kind of fun. Um, it has got to, I'm assuming, come down wholly within 12 outside of nine. But in my movement phase, if this manifestation is not in combat, remove it from the battlefield and set it up again on the battlefield more than 9 inches from all enemy wizard units and more than 3 inches from all enemy wizards. Um, and then, yeah, he's anti-wizard. So it sounds like I could actually teleport him in my movement phase. Nice. Yeah, okay, so we'll just put it right there for now. Alright, and she gets one more. Actually, let's go ahead and do Spite Swarm Hive. Six, seven. Plus one to run and charge. Okay. okay. We're gonna put it down that way. Here also, Dirth, you can get plus one to run and charge. Okay. Alright, and I have four command points. You still have five because you've been an underdog all game. Um, I'm gonna use one of them to rally Dirthu. Okay. Uh, two, four, six. Mm, I only heal two more. That's okay. Just try and get him beefed up a little bit. So he's got 11 wounds out of 14. All right. And the Spite Swarm Hive is going to on a two up. He's going to add one to run rolls and charge rolls to Dorothy. Okay. All right. I believe that is it for my hero phase. You got anything? Nah. Nah? Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and go into movement. Everybody ran. Felthanos, Durthu, 
bugs. Um, auto ran the bugs. Okay. Um, and yeah, uh, the glayworm teleported over here outside of nine of them boys, but looks like about seven inches away from that because he can. He only has to be outside of three of wizards. Um, These guys teleported. Teleported, yeah. Bonos teleported outside of nine, but within holy the nine of the trees to get a better shot. And yeah, we are closing in, trying to just finish Sinto's poor dinos off. All right, so any movement on your end? Uh, I don't think anything helps. Yeah, I've got you a bit surrounded. I guess you can move this way if you want it. I don't yeah. know if it's a good use of points. Um, okay. Rough spot for the dinos and the frogs. All right, the bonos will shoot. Oh, that depends. Oh, I don't have. Um, I'm they're going to go into four to your toad, your frog, your slan. That's the word. Okay, three threes, ring one, and they don't get any negatives from guarded hero because of their worst school. Threes. Green dice still overperforming. Okay. Uh, that is seven. Four, five, six, seven, yeah. Red Four. one. I failed two. two. Two damage each. Four damage. Four. Oh, yeah. Ooh, uh, ooh that bumped it bad. There we go. Five. I saved two. Two damage. Okay. Two damage. All right. Um, that's it for my shooting, Dirk, you ran. So, you got any shooting? Nope. Nope. Alright, charges. Um, we'll go with Dirk, you. Okay. No. The bugs. The seekers. Four. Um, can you swing them kind of behind the frog? Four inches? If possible. I know four inches is not much. That's... So you'd probably be able to go right there okay. and then come out with the blue voice. Okay. Um, let's, I think I'm going to put it like that to give Dirthu some space to go there if I can get there. You have to uh, be in combat though. That's why no. I put the blue there. Oh. So you okay. wouldn't have been able to be in combat with the slam, but you would be able to be in combat with the... Gotcha. So that's um, why. Does that make sense? Yeah, I was just hoping to get Darcy within the tree, but that's okay. We can do that. Alright. Um, next, Darcy. Five. Straight forward. Towards the bugs. Alright. Belfinos. You're still in combat with the... With what? With whatever you want to get in combat with. Yeah. No, I was trying to get within three inches of the tree, because he gets plus oh. one to hit. Uh, Belfinos gets to go eight forward. Um... It's fine, just put them straight forward into the blues. Okay. Okay. Then I think that's it for charges. Okay. All right. Anything on your end? Nope. All right. Then we'll go into combat abilities. Uh, Belthanos is going to try to do his little suplex thing. Targeting, is he within three inches of yes. the slam? Okay, targeting slam. He does do it. Oh, sorry, it was a three, so that's going to be two mortal damage to slam, and then he's going to pop up and land within one inch of the slam. Oh, I forgot about the glade worm. It's okay. Let me go right there. Okay. All right. Uh, is your slam's not a monster? Nope. Trees. Are your blue dudes within three inches of the tree? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah? Okay, four up? No. Okay. Alright, that's it for my combat abilities. I don't have any, so you're... My combat, alright. Um, does the slam do anything in combat? I doubt it. Does the guard do anything? Um, they're going to be, I think, two or three attacks each, so it's going to be ten or fifteen. Um, probably threes and threes minus one, two damage, I believe. Okay. All right, well, we'll go ahead and go with Darthu and send him into your guard. Okay. Hold on defense. Why not? 
Um, well, how does your bodyguard work? If I go into the slan, does it have to go into your guard? No, as long as we're within combat range of each other, it's a 504. Oh, okay, uh, so that's that's all it does? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go into your guard then. All right, so for your do four attacks. Um, <coughs> excuse me, threes. Twos, rend, two, threes. Twos. All right, three at rend two. Uh, Into your uh, guard. Uh, three, Googles. four, fives. Hey! Ooh, five damage. Okay, two and a half die. Do you get a ward on them? Oh, yeah. Fives. Two die. Okay. And then massive impelling talents, fours. Only one hits, twos. One, that run two. Fives. Damage. Three damage. Five of course. Okay. Here we go. Well, actually. Oh, I'll go here. No. Now, uh, what's your control score? Oh, it doesn't matter. You get minus three control score because you're going to come out. Force. Okay. Two. Minus two. Okay, six. Pass. Three damage. Just pass. All right, sorry. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Belthanos will go into the frog. Um, Belthanos, you are five attacks. Threes. Okay. Threes. Three at Rin two. Four. I felt uh, it. We're going to be three damage each because I charged. So that's six wards. Five. Uh, take four. Okay. So he's at eight. So let me see how many. I think it might be nine. He might have one left. Okay. Uh, we got the mandibles. Okay. Fours. Twos. Two at run two. Fours. Take one. Three damage. Five. And he's dead. Okay. GG, Ashley. Yeah. It's okay. Trees are mean. No, Dang. the size are mean. Size are mean. Those size, man. Jeez. Um, and let's go to post. Post. Okay. We'll be right back. All right. Post. Um, definitely a Sylvaneth victory. Um, I. The size. Yeah. How much did you send into them? I sent in Crocs, of course. Mm hmm. And Agrodons. Uh huh. And I think both times I sent them, and you did way more damage to me than mm -hmm. I did to you. Yeah. Um, I will acknowledge right now, definitely a rough game on both of our sides. Again, this is these are not our um, main armies, um, so we are definitely getting things wrong, I'm sure. Um, so there's probably things that Sento could have done. Oh, yeah. Like size. And I could have been doing things incorrectly and making my army more powerful, but I do think that in general, um, Sylvaneth have definitely gotten a glow up from the fact changes. I think that's huge. Being able to get a 9 inch or even a 12 inch instead of the dinky little 6 inch. But I was not expecting the performance of the sides that... Plus, like stacking the rent, which yeah. is really good against your army in particular. It would do nothing against Nine Hot. But, I mean, that's just one army. Um, I actually do like my list. I think it has a lot of play. Mm -hmm. um, I think if I just stay away from the size and have my terrain. Oh, yeah, so. The I'm, entire game, oh I'm just gosh. seeing 3D3s that I'm missing. Multiple 3D3s. Multiple D3s. Yeah. Three D3s that I'm yeah. just not doing. Um, but that, along with saying with the size, I think it's a totally different game. Yeah, yeah. So, I would like a rematch. Nice. Hey, I'm, I'm all for a rematch. Yeah. Yeah. I do like the list, so I don't know what I want to tweak, but... I mean, the, the, I mean we know Agridons are good. Those things do so much damage um, on the charge, assuming they can, you know... Oh, I won't be using the yellow dice anymore. No. No, no, those, those were terrible. I tried. I tried to stick with them. You did. Um, yeah, they were... They were bad for you. <laughs> the green dice were good for me. Um, but uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this. 
Um, please let us know what we can do better in the comments. Um, obviously, we're looking to improve as players uh, and we want to be able to improve the content we're providing for y'all. They'll give us some grace and that we're playing um, armies we're not super familiar with, but we'll get better at it. Uh, I But I am, I'm excited to see more Seraphon. I'm um, mm -hmm. excited to play more Sylvaneth. I really liked it. I was, I wasn't sure if Sylvaneth could function without Alario, but it seemed to do just fine. Um, I think it has a lot more play now. Um, granted, I think we're playing two fairly even armies into each other, even though it seemed a little lopsided in this game. I don't know how much, how well it would do into the you know top meta armies, but I think it definitely has game now. Where before it was, it was stretching, it was tight. But we'll see. Hope y'all liked it. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Um, and um, continue to follow us for more about our reports. Thank you.